Hey there, welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the exciting world of static page URL slugs. Yeah, I know it sounds a bit boring, but in actual fact, these are very important to understand and know when converting your Webflow built website over to Shopify or WordPress using Udesly. Okay, so before we get started, if you wouldn't mind clicking those little subscribe button and the little like button, that'd be really helpful. And if you're new here, there's a couple of links down below which you can click on and you can get access to a free version of Udesley if you wanna just trial it out. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so what is a slug? No, it's not something you find in your garden. Basically, it's just a URL that you give to a specific page. There's nothing really more to this, but what you put in this field can make a massive difference when working with Udesley. Okay, so let's start with Shopify. So first things first, what we're gonna do is open up the Udesley University, click on the search, type in pages, click on the first link, and then on the right-hand side, you will see there's a navigation there, just click on static page, and here we are. So these are all the reserved slugs for Shopify, and you cannot use them for anything other than what they're intended for. So it's straightforward, like the cart page, and all you really need to do here is create a new page, give it the slug cart, then just copy and paste the cart component over from Udesi University into the page, and you're pretty much good to go. Obviously, you just need to give it a bit of styling and make it your own, but other than that, all the functionality is pretty much done for you. So nice shortcut. Okay, so one thing to note is that although you don't technically need to make a cart page, you actually do need to make a cart page. The reason being is Shopify's checkout page will actually link back to this page and also some other apps will link to it as well. So if you don't have it, bit of an issue. So yeah, so every single time you create a Shopify store, make sure you create a cart page. And now one other mandatory must create page that you don't technically have to create, but you really should is a special page. And the slug is quite simple. It's just special hyphen page. And this particular page is used for all sorts of things, namely policies. So your terms and conditions, your cookie policy, your returns policy, etc. Anything that you author within the Shopify's policy backend, it will populate using this template. Other things as well, it's going to be using it is your challenge page. So if someone enters a form and they need to be checked if they're not a robot or a bot or whatever, then the Shopify will leverage this particular template as well. And finally, third party applications may utilize this as well in terms of something called app proxies. Now don't get too bogged down with this because it's a little bit technical, but basically it just allows the app to present and serve dynamic content on your site without having to jump through a number of different hoops. So yeah, just create this page go to recommended pages within the Udesi University, copy and paste the module and, and yeah, you're done. Now, slugs that look like this and have a dash star at the end are used to create additional page templates for your theme. So you would use this, for instance, if you wanted to create a special collection page or product page for like shoes and a different one for t-shirts. Or if you wanted to create different blogs for say, uh, case studies and another one for the latest news. So, okay, so how you'd use this is because you can't actually create a new category page or a product page in Webflow, you just create a new page as you normally would and add the relevant page type slug that you want to create. For this example, we're going to create a new collection template. So we will use the collection hyphen star. Now just delete the star and type in your template name like this, collection hyphen t-shirts. And then once converted, you'll be able to select and assign this template in the Shopify backend when editing the relevant collection. Okay, so a little tip. So make sure you read this page and go through this in, in detail because there's a number of other slugs here that are gonna add new base functionality to your site. So for example, account pages. Okay, so now you're familiar with the Shopify reserve page slugs. Let's have a look and explore the WordPress side of things. So again, let's go over to our Udesi University. We'll click into WordPress this time and the same process. We'll search for pages and click the reserve page slugs or patterns in the right hand navigation. Okay, so the overall process is the same. However, there are a few key differences that we need to keep in mind. Number one is there's fewer slugs to contend with, so bonus. But number two and most importantly is that some pages that you create need to have a custom attribute assigned to the body tag as well. Okay, and we'll get into that now. Okay, so here you can see that if we wanted to create an archive template for a custom post type, for example, we're going to use events, then you would use the slug archive hyphen and then the name of the post type. So for in our example, we're going to go archive hyphen events. Okay, so that's not too different. But if we're creating an alternate page template, then we would need to combine this with a custom attribute on the page body to link the template to the correct post type, for example, product or post. Now, like the Shopify side of things, there are a few more slugs that you need to be aware of. So spend some time and read through the documentation. However, if you have any questions, drop a comment below 
or join one of our community forums and ask away and, and we'll get to it as quickly as we possibly can. Okay, and that's a wrap. So hopefully that clears things up a little bit for you. If you found this video useful, hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. All right, so there's some links below. So don't forget to join our communities. And if you're a new user, why don't you try out Udesly for free using the buttons below. All right, and that's it. So if you have any questions or you want to make a suggestion of upcoming or new content that you would like to see, drop a comment below. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.